And the talented Lamar Stevens joins us now to talk about that, joining us from our studios in State College. All right, Lamar, a top 10 upset of Michigan. You consider all the close losses you guys have had this year. Put into words for me how sweet that night was. It was awesome. Um, just to see the success that, you know, my teammates who worked so hard were able to, to experience and for my coaches, it, it was a great night overall from top to bottom. And I don't think there's any uh, people that deserve, you know, to have such a, you know, great game come their way. What was the best part of the celebration? Uh, definitely the core storm. Uh, it was awesome. Our fans, they were, they were great the whole game. They really, you know, helped propel us to that win. But when they stormed the court, that was definitely the best part. What does it show about your team that you've now got wins against Virginia Tech and Michigan, two highly ranked squads? Uh, I think that we've shown that we can compete with anybody in the country. It just comes down to, you know, just one possession maybe or one made free throw, one, one layup, anything. Um, and once we're, when we're dialed in, we're a really dangerous team. I think we, we've shown that. Let me ask you about Miles Dredd. He came in only averaging five, or five points total the last two games. Then he dropped 17 in that win against Michigan. What was different with him? Yeah. Miles is so talented. He's one of the best shooters that I've ever been around, ever played with. And when Miles gets going, it's over. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're contested, uh, if he catches it off the dribble, left hand, right hand. He, he's, he's talented enough that he's going to make it when he gets going. So I was glad to see that. He works hard. He deserves it. You know, one more thing on this game. It was such a weird scenario. You go into halftime, yeah. and then John Beeline gets two technical fouls. When were you guys yeah. aware of all that? I had no idea. My teammate came in, and they were like, uh, did Michigan's coach get thrown out? I said, no, why do you say that? <laughs> like, I, and then I, I coach came in, and he was like, they, that he did end up getting thrown out, but I had no idea about it. I didn't even see what happened or anything. So you guys just walked onto the court and found out you got four straight free throws to start the half? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, that was cool. That was good for us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yeah. Three of them went in, of course. Uh, I, yeah. I mentioned, you know, it, that was such a high for you guys after so many loads. You've been so close this I season. Know. Multiple games you either lost in overtime or by one or two possessions. As a team, how have you guys dealt with all of that? Um, coach has been... Uh, doing a great job of just keeping everybody motivated and I think everybody saw how close we were and never got you know too down and I think every day we came to work just looking to get better each day and and with that mindset that we will hope to find success and we did the other night you said he's kept you motivated how so what has yeah. he done um, he just always tells us how close we are uh, he told talk, talks about the strength of schedule that we've had uh, this year. We play one of the tougher schedules in the country. And, you know, when we watch film, you just see how close we are. You know, the small mistakes that we make where the game may have been different or we would have put ourselves in a uh, position to win if we would have played a little bit harder this possession or took a charge here or there. So I think we all saw it in the film. I think that just kept us going and kept us kept the hunger in our stomach. Let's talk about you personally now. Five of the last six games, you have scored 20 points or more. How do you explain that? Uh, just the confidence that Coach put, instills in me. He has a lot of confidence in me, and so do my teammates. And I just feed off that. Um, you know, I, I, as a leader on this team, I just know that there's no days off for me, and I always want to give my best effort day in and day out. But it's really just a credit to my team and uh, my coaches because without their confidence in me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even have the ball in my hands. I asked you about one of the youngsters, Miles Dredd, a little while ago. Let me ask you about another one. How has Rasheer yeah. Bolton grown throughout this season? Oh, he's taken, he gets better each game. Um, he, he's always in the gym. He lives in the gym before practice, after practice, early in the morning. So you know with guys like that, they're, they're going to figure it out. And, you know, Rob went through a little uh, freshman wall, but he, he fought through it in a, in a large way. And, and he's been playing at a great, at a high level for us. And it's, it's been great having, you know, had another shooter and another playmaker and a great free throw shooter on the court with us. Just to be clear, he doesn't actually live in a gym. There's a dorm or an apartment <laughs> or something he can sleep in, right? <laughs> Yeah, I would say he's in the gym more than his apartment, though, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. 
Hey, you got yeah. seven more regular season games and then the Big Ten tournament. What are the goals for this team the rest of the way out? Our goal is just to continue to get better. Um, I think everybody's really confident um, on the campus about, about our team, and we're confident in each other. So we just want to keep playing at a high level, and we did that by just playing, uh, focusing on each day and trying to get better every day, and that's, that's the mantra we're going to continue. Well, now you got the confidence to know if you can beat Michigan, you can beat anybody. Lamar Stevens, congrats on the win. Congrats on your great play recently. Thanks for giving us a few minutes. Uh, thank you.